Welcome back guys to BossCraft. So in today's episode, as you can see, I have my conduit, I have a bunch of potions, I got some TNT, cobblestone, redstone, and um, we're going to be uh, taking over an ocean monument today, ladies and gentlemen. The ocean monument right there. Obviously got more shells from the drown farm, did some modifications at the drown farm, uh, got that working pretty well. I'll probably show that in another episode coming up. Um, did light up the surface underneath the drown farm, so that is taken care of. Um, yeah, so we've been doing some progress here. I got a little outpost built here. Um, I found a village back there, uh, just on the other side of the swamp. Um, yeah, I've been doing some work. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> we're gonna go do it. We're gonna fight the guys. We're gonna, we're gonna get all three of them and get in, get out, and yeah, we're gonna do it. So I just want to make sure here before I head out, that I don't need anything else. Um, my chest plate is kind of getting low, but I'm gonna try and make it. I'm gonna try and do it with it. Um, yeah, we're gonna take an extra one just in case. Just in case, so. Uh, don't need, don't need anything else, I don't think. Let's just go and head into it. This is how I've been breaking into the monument without having, oops, go away guy, not trying to fight you right now, I'm trying to get in here, excuse me guy, go away, let's get some food out here. And right here, oop, move back, move back, there we go, get our sword out, where is he, where is he, right here. Die, die. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was number two. Let's get to a safe spot here, away from all the other guardians. Eat some food, get some health, and we'll go to the last guardian. All right, let's go over to this other side and we'll get this last guy over here. Whoa. We'll set it down right there. Need some blocks. Let's get down. Oh my gosh, you're everywhere. Okay. Oh, whoa. Get, get a block on each side here, if I can. And then, boom. Blow that side to smithereens. And then we'll head in here and take him out. He's right there. Got him cornered. Last guy going down. Last guy going down right here. There we go. Okay. Boom. 
There it is. Not that way. That's dangerous. Let's go and get out of here. Let's just get out of here. We killed him, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, of course, after I beat all three guardians, I had to go back and get all the sponges and the gold blocks from the big room. And yeah, uh, I just wanted to mention that um, throughout the whole time raiding the ocean monument, I totally forgot to put the conduit down so uh the whole time i i went and tried to get the conduit um i didn't even use it <laughs> so yeah Alright everybody, so this is what I got from the Ocean Temple, Ocean Monument, sorry. Um, I got about a stack and a half of sponges from the sponge rooms. Um, I think there was a total of three. I don't think I showed all three, but um, I got the eight gold blocks. I got some dark prismarine. I got some prismarine bricks and pris regular prismarine. Also, I got prismarine shards from fighting the guardians and prismarine crystals, um, a piece of kelp, a nautilus shell from a drown that was in there. Uh, I didn't show that part. Um, but yeah, that's the spoils or loot that I got from the ocean monument. Um, I put the conduit back in here, uh, put all my potions back where they belong and in the in the flash box i should rename that um if you guys can help me think of a name for um something that you would hold potions in or or um ooh, canteen canteen I, I should rename those the canteen boxes that's easier to say oh i don't have any levels we'll do that another time don't let me forget that guys to rename those the canteen boxes instead of the flask boxes because it's easier to say for me at least but yeah uh that was the ocean monument we're now gonna turn that into our base we're gonna take the sponges which um if we take these and we dry them out in a furnace or actually we could take these to the nether now with the new update and set them down on the ground and they'll dry out because the air is so hot in the nether that um it'll dry the sponges out just setting them down on the ground but uh you can also put them in a furnace and and dry them out that way um we're gonna put them in a furnace just because that's how i want to do it but we're going to set up a perimeter on the out on the very outside edge of the entire monument, probably with glass, not sand. Most people use sand because it just falls, but we're going to use glass because I don't want to have to switch it out later. But we're going to drain that entire mo ocean monument of water and then we're going to make a farm out of it. Uh, I didn't mention earlier. I did get a new microphone, so um, hopefully 
hopefully everything sounds good everything sounds great uh yeah so that that's a new thing um yeah so i'm gonna head back to the base and get these sponges dried out and get prepared to um yeah start making this more of a home over here everybody this is my new ocean box well Poseidon's ocean box um, here are our sponges and if I show you guys real quick here outside should be water somewhere around here I'm not gonna go by the sugar cane because that'll just de defeat the purpose of my sugar cane but uh so if I go like this Bam. As you guys can see, it clears the water. If I do go like that, bam, water gone. Just two it took to clear that. So, with that being shown, um, and there's no way to extract the water back out. That water is gone forever. We cannot get that back out. But... It will be very useful. That technique will be very useful in clearing out the ocean monument. And we're going to show you guys how I got these sponges not to be. Just put them in. And yeah, they just smell after a little bit of time. Um, so I will be setting up the conduit close to the ocean monument with some of these um, blocks right here just so that we don't have to worry about drinking water potions all the time and we'll be able to see a lot better it'll be like night night and day difference to be able to have that so that's that and um yeah, it's raining and dark outside i wanted to also talk about the next episode and maybe see oh yeah that was okay maybe see about uh clearing this out and putting what i really need desperately need is a super smelter here i need a big enough smelter that can smelt a lot of glass for the ocean monument i need to be able to dry the sponges very quickly so i'm thinking about clearing this whole chunk out here by the next episode and be able to yeah set up a super smelter here that automatically smelts automatically loads the fuel and all that good jazz that you know comes along with a good super smelter um I think we can fit a pretty nice size super smelter in this area uh, once we get all this cleared out of the way. Um, we will probably fit a good, oh, I don't know, maybe even if we did like back to back, maybe 40, I'm thinking, for furnace, maybe. We'll have to see how many furnaces I can fit in here along with the redstone and all that good jazz. But, um, oop. of course, I need to clear out all this. Obviously, there's a cave right there. Um, 
is a lot of space to clear out and I want to get it down to this level right here so I want to have like I want to be able to come have a platform right here come look at put my stuff that I want to smelt in one chest and then put a, the fuel in another chest flick levers and then pull my stuff out of a chest right here in the center and I don't want to have to you know load each furnace stuff like that um, and mine carts probably will be doing all that work for us I suppose I could just hollow this out not dig it all out but I want to I want to put a nicer building over top of the smelter so that way it looks better I think that'll look nice um, yeah there's our tree farm still happy and go lucky over there uh, yeah but that's what I have planned for the next episode um, take taking over that ocean monument was uh, the first step in the, the whole the whole build of building in an ocean monument so um yeah we got a long road ahead of us and i hope you guys enjoyed um taking it over with me uh, i think i'm gonna end it here guys and uh yeah if you liked the video hit the like button and uh don't forget to subscribe uh for more content hopefully it sounds a lot better for you guys with the microphone and all that good jazz and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one adios amigos